Virgo, good morning, welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. It's a great pleasure to be here. Okay, take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Okay, because the energies are very fluidic. Okay, don't try and make it fit, you will just end up with a wrong conclusion. So if only a minute of this video is the bit that resonates, that's the bit you're meant to listen to. Here we go. What's going on for the sign of Virgo? You have Ten of Cups, good start, a lot of emotion there. The challenge is Eight of Cups. Well, chasing your Ten of Cups, but leaving the situation that you're in. Well, certainly been detaching from it emotionally. And now I'm kind of getting with the chariot here, this cancer energy here. The underlying energy is actually physically moving on from a situation. The emotions are running very, very high. I'm kind of getting a lot of you have been detaching from a situation emotionally, but kind of staying physically put, biding your time here. You've been weighing up your pros and cons. Okay. You've become much more open-minded. It's kind of like you've had a, a mini wake-up call about your situation. It's kind of like, you know, the that it's finally dawned on you what you're sacrificing in your life to just tread water, so to speak, especially on the emotions front here. What you won't see coming is the Empress. Wow. New love, new feelings, new emotions. Wake-up call. Self-awareness, realising your own true worth. It all begins with you on how self-aware you are, how happy you are with you. Not necessarily with the people and work around you, okay, but it's how happy you are with yourself. Because that's where it all starts. Near future, page of pentacles, getting, all, getting it all together. Going from this page of pentacles to the ace of pentacles prioritizing dealing with one thing at a time okay getting all it all together coming to a focal point where you can actually make a physical move on getting here whatever your situation whether you're singles married partnered you know in a full-time job on getting here that you are moving on a lot of you there's the energy is certainly there your energy is the Six of Swords. Wow, that's a cool energy. Being in the right frame of mind. Phew. Bottom of the deck, actually. I've just seen it. There's Scorpio energy, the death card. There's an ending here. An ending perhaps of a 10-year, 8 to 10-year struggle with yourself. And, you know, in the last two years, it's... It, it's come to kind of like this point. It's intensified. Getting that you've been making preparations within yourself. Been thinking more clearly. With this Ace of Pentacles, there's kind of like an offer that you can't refuse. It's like a moth to a a light you know you can't you can't resist something you can't resist with this six of swords you know you're tired of fighting all the time it's been pretty stormy emotionally for you for a long while okay you, you are putting yourself you've decided that you would be much happier elsewhere well this because not necessarily leaving a marriage or anything this could be relocating you're not happy in a place you're not happy with schooling for the kids you, you know, you're not happy with your work. You're perhaps in an area that's, uh, you know, the job prospects are not good. You know, all these sort of things. This, this, this is a very, like I say, be open. <laughs> because the options are there. You perhaps felt very restricted on your options in the past. But, uh, hmm. You certainly been preparing yourself for something i'm kind of getting intuitively you kind of sense that you know this this 
change is coming. Mm, making decisions. Making making preparations. Six of Cups. The past is affecting you. Mm. Perhaps, you know, as I say, be open-minded. This is a general reading. Some of you are moving back towards a past person. Some of you are trying to get, get in the right frame of mind to leave the past behind. As I say, take it out. It resonates. But it's all going to come to like this focal point where there's a solid decision here. New beginnings for you. I'm kind of getting a bit of a win-win situation here for you. The energy between you is the Knight of Swords here. Okay, committing yourself. What I'm getting here is in the past where you perhaps chased somebody. Okay, you tried and you tried and you tried and you tried. They kind of ignored it. All right, either because of all the stuff going on, because they were trying to control the issue. But it would seem that because you've you're approaching this in a very, very different light. Like I said, you're becoming self-aware. You're the one with your back to them. They're the ones chasing you now. So I'm getting this huge turnaround for some of you. All right. The emotional pull. All right, to this situation. As I say, whether you're partnered, married or single or dealing with somebody or whatever... That it's kind of like a role reversal here. Huge changes. Kind of getting they were actually going away from you at one time. And you sort of said, okay, fine, get on with it. Off you go. I don't care. All right. It's maybe it took six weeks, maybe it took six months. Maybe it took six years. You know, with tarot, it's, it doesn't deal with linear time like we see it, all right? It just sees energy changing. And if it's taken six years, there's, there's somebody coming back around. The thing is, you're in a situation now where, you know, you it's, it's detaching from it. For some of you, this is unwanted attention from somebody from the past. Some of you have perhaps done it on purpose to see how they react. Hmm? I'm not judging. I'm just telling you what I see. All right. Either way, focus for you. All right. Concentrating on the changes that you can apply to your life and letting the universe take care of the rest. You can't be in control of everything. It's not possible. All right. The universe has got the last say, we'll say. Well, there's eight of pentacles, you know, it's investing your money in another project, investing your money in something else, investing your time and energy also into somebody else. All right. They've been working hard on the changes for their personal thing. They feel now they're ready in the right frame of mind to come in. They've been clearing their energies. They've been decluttering. They could have perhaps been dealing with somebody from their past. Okay, but whatever, it's all coming round this Ace of Wands here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a card here for this Ace of Wands. Why is? What do I keep saying Ace of Wands for? Could well be there's a lot of passion. Forgive me, Ace of Pentacles, Clive. Get it right. Put your glasses on. You maybe see. <laughs> right, just joking. Yeah, this this Ace of Pentacles. But don't dismiss that Ace of Wands because, like I say, it's, it's coming to a very passionate climax here. And that, to me, is the Ace of Wands. It's a, it's a very, it's a pinnacle point where all the energy's been gaining. And it's like that old volcano. It's finally blowing. All right. Passions run high. Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles? Ball card. All right, big decision being made. All right, there was a lot of indecision here. But what I'm getting is that you're much, because you're becoming self-aware, okay, or for whatever your reason you had for turning your back on this person, they've come chasing, all right, and it's produced a new start. 
you're less inclined to just jump in although it is tempting all right <clears throat> there's also travel here for some of you all right. it's, it's coming to the point here where i'm getting perhaps you are becoming ready to talk to this person and they're ready to talk to you you've certainly got their attention okay to sort this out once and for all that's what i'm getting And you're much more carefree about it. You're not so tight about it. You're not so inclined to just jump in without thinking. It's a bit of a carefree attitude. But whatever you decide, you're standing your ground, taking very, very small steps. Let's get a career card for you. Okay. Cutting ties, what was locked is now becoming unlocked with money, feelings, courage. You may need to leave your current position and look for something better. Ending a job doesn't mean burning bridges, go with grace. Okay, and I'm kind of getting that energy applies to this relationships thing. Whatever it is you're leaving behind you, okay, it's a go with grace. It's not necessary to get all fired up. A kind of a, a bit more of a softly, softly approach is in, in, instead of being aggressive. Because somebody here, the energy between you, now who it is you or the person you're dealing with, is does have a, an aggressive nature. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a softly, softly approach. Thanks very much for watching.